Next news is out of North Carolina. Church leader body shames a 19-year-old girl saying fat girls don't wear shorts. Jenna, a 19-year-old member of the choir of Swansboro United Methodist Church in North Carolina, was fat shamed by a church leader who told her she didn't she shouldn't be wearing jean shorts with her body. She went into the church's bathroom to check her phone because a family member was in the hospital. She was confronted by Bonnie Sue Bihari, who immediately began to shame her by talking about how another chubby girl in the church wears an inappropriate dress that comes to her knees, and why aren't you doing that? Jenna got it all on a video. Um, there's a video for this, right? Let me show you the video. Hold yeah. On. One second, one second. I don't understand. This is a weird story, eh? Yeah. Top of her so you're sitting here calling me fat? Oh, you don't think you are? No, because I fucking love who I am. I'm Stop. sorry. No. Wait, 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 wait. I need to make this full screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. All right, hold on. She's a chubby girl. She's got a dress on that's appropriate. It comes down to about top of her knees. So you're sitting here calling me fat? Oh, you don't think you are? No, because I fucking love who I am. I'm you, sorry. No, you get the love fuck you. out of my face. I don't have to. And don't swear at me like that. I don't give a shit. I do. That's your problem. I do give a shit. But you don't. Obviously. <laughs> don't come back on that stage with those shorts. I'm warning you. Who are you? Who oh, wait. This is... Who are you? Who... You read my name. I see that, but who are you to tell me what I'm supposed to Lower do? No, voice. get the fuck out of my face! Quit swearing at me. Get out! Don't I am 19 years old and I can do whatever I want! Really? Yes! Try it. Okay, bye! 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 Because guess what? I've been recording this entire thing and I will show my parents that I will never come back to this church because of how much you are disrespectful! You are so disrespectful! Wow. She called me fat! She called me fat! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. Okay, what do you think about yeah. it? I think I think people should uh, go now to this church wearing uh, as protest, just wear like the minimum possible clothing, and just show <laughs> up. Yeah, I think that should be the reaction. I think a whole bunch of people should be like, we're just here for service, uh, for church service, and just wear like really really short shorts. And bikinis, just women should just should show up with bikinis and stuff like that. Just like every <laughs> every day, just for every every Sunday, just sit there the entire time. This yes, and post it all on social media. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot about this, and Hemet Meta brings up some great points. He is the one that wrote this story. Um, it, first of all, swearing is a no-no, but body shaming gets a thumbs up from Jesus. That's, uh, I mean, that's just so crazy in and of itself. But um, so, so since this video went viral, the church did come in and say, hey, you know what? Uh, it's, it's the new pastor said that this woman will no longer be representing the church, will no longer have a leadership role in the church, um, that they don't believe that what she did was okay. Yeah, but let's test that. Let's test that and see, like, if other people, <laughs> uh, if other people in this church are okay. Just everybody, just show up in short shorts. But um, is she is she suggesting that if this woman was not chubby, it would be okay to wear whatever she wants? Like, yes. So she's saying it's okay. So what she was wearing was an issue because she wasn't hot, and this is coming from a. <laughs> From okay, this is coming. This is not coming from a man saying like, "Hey, I only like women and um, you know tight jeans if they're sexy." This is coming from another woman saying, "If you're sexy, you could wear tight stuff. But if you're if you're if you're wearing if you're chubby, I don't I don't understand." <laughs> By the 
wait, this girl. So she posted a picture of herself wearing this outfit. Right. Um, and her, sh- it's not like her shorts were like upper butt or anything. Which, which even if they were, who cares? Mm. Um, but they were appropriately length shorts. Uh, this, this is just insane. I don't understand how this woman just decided it was okay to go off on this girl. Right. I mean, the woman that is complaining, he, she's chubby, and she's showing her chubby arms. Look, she's, she's, uh, her. Her, her arms are not covered, right? So yeah. she should have been like, "Why are you showing me your chubby arms then? If you don't want me to, if you don't want to see my chubby legs, right? What's up right? with like, that? Yeah, why are you showing up in church like this? Cover them up. In fact, just show up in hijab. How about that, all of you? <laughs> um, let me see. Rob is saying that's community service. Thanks, um, thanks, church lady. Yo. Oh, these people are agreeing with the chubby comments, I guess. Um, this comment is too long. Carolyn is saying, good old church ladies, always there to lend a hand. Edward is saying, but looking like a deflated human being bag is pleasing to a god. Oh, they're commenting on the old lady's look. Tristan is saying, she got a lot of say. She got a lot to say, flapping those bingo wings, covered up. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what. I, yeah. Anyways, I don't don't do that to anybody. You know, just you don't need to tell people what to wear, right? Yeah. Um, easy, easy, easy peasy. Let me see what else is saying. Soraya is saying. No, no, that was from the previous news. Do you have anything else to add before we go to the next news? Yeah, Hibbit Mena made another good point. He said, the whole ordeal is a reminder that women are constantly judged in churches for what they wear or what they do and not nearly enough on what they believe. Um, and that's that's why I guess this is mm. bigger news than supposedly anyone else in the street saying this to a, to a 19-year-old girl. But um, and, and I think that that does ring true. I think that I'm looking back in my time going to churches and being there everything was about what we wore. You know, I had to wear skirts and dresses that were appropriate uh, for church attire. I had uh, to do all that stuff. And it, it was always a big concern. It, that was more of a concern to me than what I learned in church that day or, um, you know, what I was going to do in church that day. What I looked like mattered because I wanted to fit what I was supposed to fit when going in there. So um, it's just a good point. I just wanted to bring that up. Yeah, just normalize it by what I said. To just go on. Everybody show up in bikinis and see what happens. Yeah. As protests. I mean, yeah. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects. <laughs> 